One of the most prestigious records in cycling is the hour world record. So the greatest distance you can ride in one hour. Victor Campenarts currently holds the men's hour world record. But what about the rest of us? We can't simply hire a velodrome, spend endless money on wind tunnel testing and equipment. So I did a little bit of research and found this, the world hour record on bicycle rollers, which believe it or not, is an official Guinness World Record. And I love a good challenge, so I better dust off the rollers and see what I've got. The rollers' current hour world record is held by Leonardo Saponaro from Italy, and it sits at 57.18 kilometers. And this is the bike I'm gonna be using to take on the challenge today, my Pinarello F12. And I've carefully selected some parts to use for this. So if you're interested in finding out more about this bike, head over to the GCN Tech channel because I've got an in-depth video detailing all of these parts. The best thing about this hour world record is that you guys at home can have a go too. It doesn't matter what indoor trainer setup you've got, just give it a go and see how far you can get in one hour and let us know in the comments section down below how you get on. Anyway, back to my attempt and I've done some research and I've set myself a target of 60 kilometers. So that's 2.83 kilometers than the current record. And I've done a couple of test runs at the right pace, but only for 30 minutes. So today I'm gonna to have to ride that pace for twice as long, so fingers crossed on that. I've got everything in place to record and validate my efforts. So I'm gonna be using two Wahoo head units to record all the data that I need. And all that's left is for me to finish off my warm up and make sure I'm ready for an hour of pain. Right, I've finished my warm up and I'm ready to go. All that's left now is for the crowd to count me in. Guys? Five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, go! Right, we're 15 minutes in, and so far the pace is looking promising. I'm above what my schedule was, so that's promising. But the hotter I get, the more my heart rate is creeping up. So I just have to sit tight and hope for the best. Right, we're just over 30 minutes into this challenge here. And it's so far so good. What I have noticed is my heart rate started out around the 150 beat marker, whereas now we're right up into the early 160s, where my legs are getting a bit tired, we're getting hotter and hotter, and my body's having to work hard. I'm sitting at about an average cadence of 100 RPM, which right now is starting to get tiring but we're over the halfway marker, so fingers crossed. Right, we're just over 50 minutes in now, which means there's less than 10 minutes to go. It's getting tougher and tougher, my heart rate is going through the roof now because I'm just getting so hot. We're up in the 170s now. But, some good news, we've surpassed the current record, which is a bit of a sigh of relief for me, but with the remaining time left, I'm gonna have to get my head down, crack on, and push this record out as far as we can so that fingers crossed, no one can steal it back. But, I guess I got us to just dig in. Super tough now. We're under seven minutes to go, and I'm getting a little bit confident, so I'm trying to press on a bit harder. I've upped my cadence to 110 RPM, and my heart rate, we're up in 175 now, 
And I'm not going to lie, I'm starting to suffer. But for the viewers, we'll press on and see what we can do. We're at 182 beats per minute, a cadence of 112 RPM, and a current speed of 78 kilometers an hour. So well above record pace. And it's taking its toll on me now. We're into the last three minutes, and now I'm really having to push on and really work hard and dig in for every last little bit of effort. We'll do it, come on. Final minute now. Starting to push on, really, really, really struggling. So, but we're nearly there now. This is why we're pressing on. And this reminds me of being a pro bike rider again. Every last bit of effort counts. Last 30 seconds. So we're gonna lap it off at one hour. 184 beats a minute. 120 RPM. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and lap. Oh my God. Ah. 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 I need to keep pedaling. Ah. Oh my God, that was hard. Right, I've caught my breath and I've uploaded my ride and the good news is I have set a new world record. It's unconfirmed as of yet, but it sits at 74.3 kilometers. And I'll tell you what, I've impressed myself a little bit over that and I feel pretty happy. Right, here's some of the stats from my Rollers Hour world record. Unsurprisingly, it's an hour. And we've got 74.3 kilometers, an average heart rate of 158 beats per minute, a maximum heart rate of 185 beats a minute, average cadence 100 RPM, maximum cadence 121, and we've got an average speed obviously of 74.3 kilometers, but most impressive is the maximum speed I hit right at the end when I was really pushing on, 84.3 kilometers an hour. Whew, pretty fast. Well, that's the Rollers world record done and dusted, and it feels kind of unreal to think that technically, I'm a world record holder. I'm happy about that, that's for sure. All that's left now is to submit the mountain of paperwork and evidence to the Guinness World Record officials to verify this record. I hope this has inspired you to have a go at home, so why not let us know in the comments section down below just how far you can ride in one hour. All that's left for me now is to go get this sweaty kit off and have a shower and get ready for the next GCM video. See you later.